Good morning, you guys. First of all, welcome back to another video. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and turn on your notification bells. And that way, whenever I post a video, you'll be notified. So I wanted to come on really quickly. This is not a vlog or anything. We're just chatting. We're, we're just gonna talk. So, a lot of you guys may know that I am on a weight loss journey. That weight loss journey started out with a three day fast of no meat, no dairy, only fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts. So like a vegan fast, Daniel fast, whatever. I did that for three days, that was back in May. And then I kind of just ate what I wanted, not really tracking or being mindful of the things I was eating. And then in May, so maybe about two weeks after I did that fast, I started keto. And I was able to lose about 20 pounds on keto. And if you don't know, um, I had my gallbladder removed back in March of this year. So with keto being a super high fat diet, it just didn't really work for me in terms of my digestion. My stomach was constantly feeling very like heavy. And yeah, so I decided to stop keto. On top of that, I think it's also very challenging to think about every single thing down to the nitty gritty ingredients of foods that's going into your body. And then it's also difficult to feel like you're constantly restricting yourself. Like, oh, I can't eat that, 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 I can't eat that. It's hard. And I have a young child, a toddler, and I honestly just wanted to eat a healthy whole foods diet fruits and vegetables, not really limiting myself, but more so just being mindful of what I'm putting into my body. So I did that, that's what I've been doing as of late. But I think recently I have found myself struggling and not really struggling with eating bad, but more so emotionally eating. Like eating too much, eating because I feel stressed, eating because I'm overwhelmed, eating because I'm tired, eating because I'm confused, like just emotionally eating. Still working out, still like going for walks every day, still doing like a grow with Joe or home workout if I can't get out and walk but definitely emotionally eating and what I mean by that is like let's say I got some popcorn popcorn is one of my favorite snacks let's say I got some popcorn I could just kind of sit and just grab the bag and Eat. not being mindful of the serving size and that has slowed my weight loss definitely I've kind of been stuck at a number 
either kind of like teeter-tottering between one to two pounds above or below or below that number or that number just like stuck at that number and i know that it's because i've just been eating too much um even if it's not bad things now yesterday 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 was bad okay i ate it wasn't as bad as it could have been because i almost ended up at mcdonald's and i wanted to get a filet of fish and a large fry and two apple pies but i didn't i didn't do that so i'm saying all of this to say that today i am resetting today is tuesday yesterday was 9 11 so today is tuesday september 12th and i'm making this video and i'm gonna try to post it today because i shouldn't have to do too much editing but i'm making this video and i want to post it because i want to hold myself accountable it is hard life can get difficult if you don't know i'm a single mom and that can be very challenging i've been a single mom my daughter's entire life i you know stepped away from a bad relationship when I was in my first trimester. So yeah, I've been doing this by myself the whole time. And that can be very challenging when everything is on you. And a lot of times I tend to eat my emotions. So I need to hold myself accountable. You guys need to hold me accountable and i want to take you guys along the journey and that's why i started documenting my weight loss journey to hold myself accountable and also if anyone is out there and you're struggling just know it's okay it's okay if you fell off the wagon it's okay get back on and keep on going it's not easy at all it's not easy. I would be lying if I sat here a lot of times. And what I really didn't want to, to make YouTube videos about fitness and about weight loss, because a lot of these YouTubers, and I mean, I'm talking about people with hundred thousands of subscribers. They come on, turn on a camera after they have lost a hundred pounds. And they say, hey, I lost 100 pounds in three months. And all you got to do is that, 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 And you don't see the journey. You don't see what they went through. You don't see the highs and the lows. You don't see the binge eating. You don't see any of that because they just come on once it's done and say, hey, I lost the weight. It's easy. All you got to do is, and that's just not reality. And I would never turn on this camera and be fake, <laughs> ever. Um, I have to show what is real and what is reality. And the reality for me is that one, I love food. And that two, I have used food to cope with emotions. And I'm a mental health professional. So I know what I need to do to not do that. So, I just wanted to come on really quickly. Hopefully I don't have to do too much editing to the video. I wanted to tell you guys, today is September 12th. We are holding ourselves accountable through the rest of this year. We are going to eat healthy and eat correct portions and not overeat. And we are going to move our bodies, get our blood pumping every single day, regardless of what's going on, regardless of what how we're feeling. We just gotta get up and we gotta do it because there are goals to be accomplished. For me, I think the biggest thing is I have a child and I'm her parent. I am the primary parent there's no other parent that can take over if something happens to me 
I have to be here. I have been sick. I've been in the hospital. I documented my experience and what I went through with my gallstones. I was in the hospital for five days. I ended up needing two surgeries. That was five days I was away from my child. Five days I had to, thank God I had my family where they could step in and make sure that she was okay so that I wasn't constantly worried 24 seven. I want to be here. I want to be healthy. I want to be around for the cheerleading games and swim lessons and soccer and ballet. I want to be here and I want to be healthy. And I just can't imagine her having to grow up either with me constantly sick and constantly having to lug me to doctor's appointments or the, come into the hospital or me not being here. So I have to hold myself accountable. I have to, I have to, I have to. So I'm gonna close it out here. I'm not gonna talk too much. I just wanted to come on and say it is okay. It's okay, we all mess up. We all get off track. It's okay. Just get up and keep going. You woke up this morning, you've been given another chance, another opportunity. Your life is not over. So just cease that opportunity. I'll probably show you guys what I'm eating, maybe in shorts. So just be on the lookout for that. But I'm gonna close it out here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Definitely subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.